One Piece is a masterpiece. It has topped streaming charts, won the hearts of fans of the source material, and drawn new audiences to this franchise. Up to this point, Netflix anime adaptations had been summed up into the catastrophic bomb that was Cowboy Bebop. What the f Other adaptations weren't any better, as The Witcher production worked over time to botch a fantastic franchise beyond recognition. Yet somehow, Netflix managed to pause this pyro of doom, turn things around, and deliver the best adaptation in a long time. One Piece became the best new show of the year, and here's why. World Building One Piece is set in a fantastical world with treasure, magic, and adventure. Everyone in this world exists somewhere in the constant battle between the world government and the pirates. The live adaptation does an impressive job of explaining this world through deliberate dialogue, carefully crafted maps, and unique set designs. Contrast this with the abysmal world building in something like The Witcher and you get a much clearer world where travel progresses the story and geography is seamlessly woven into storytelling. Plot The plot of One Piece is fairly simple. During his execution by the world government, the king of the pirates announces that his ultimate treasure, the One Piece, is out there and sets off a worldwide treasure hunt. While a treasure hunt is hardly a new plot concept, it's the journey that the characters take that keeps One Piece intriguing. From assembling an unlikely team and allies, to acquiring a ship, to fighting off competing pirates, bounty hunters, and the world government. One Piece manages to fit substance around a simple plot to keep both longtime fans and new viewers glued to their screens. Characters by far the best part of One Piece is its fun, driven, and complex characters. The main protagonist, Luffy, is an adventurer that assembles a ragtag crew on his quest to become the king of the pirates. I'm Monkey D. Luffy, and I'm gonna be king of the pirates! His first recruits are Zoro, an extraordinary swordsman that wants to be the best swordsman in the world, and Nami, a thief and navigator with a mysterious past and mysterious motives. The crew later gets rounded out by Sanji, a skilled hand-to-hand -hand fighter and chef on a quest to find the All Blue, and Usopp, a marksman. On the surface, these characters and motivations aren't anything new, but it's what lies underneath that makes One Piece compelling. Each of the characters has a tragic backstory, told through flashbacks that fill in the past without detracting from the plot and protagonist. Imagine if The Witcher took this approach instead of the convoluted, side-tracking, time-jumping nonsense that they put out. Every character in One Piece has lost someone or witnessed incredible sacrifice that motivates them to seek the extraordinary. Luffy and Sanji both witnessed their father figures sacrifice limbs to keep them alive, inspiring them to adopt the dreams of their forefathers. In a similar way, Zoro loses his best friend and challenger and honors her legacy by striving to be the best swordsman alive. Nami's tragic loss of her family and village is easily the best piece of character building in this show. Her failure to save her village and subsequent cry for help brings together the Straw Hat Pirates in an epic finale to free her people from a dreadful pirate warlord. Of course I will. Of course I will! Even the villains are just badass. While Mihawk left a mark on many fans, I'm one of three people that loved Arlong. He was menacing as hell and his soundtrack slaps. <sighs> I'm no fan of yours.
Arlong strives to elevate his species from their past enslavement and marginalization, but turns into the very thing he claims to hate, a vicious identitarian bigot without any decency or principles. Every character is grounded in this absurd world, with many layers to escape into and motivations to root for. The vibrant lighting and set pieces make this show a delight to look at, and the soundtracks top off what's already a technically excellent show. Personally, I like the fact that this show adapted a westernized action-adventure style, but this may alienate fans that liked the original anime style. Also, the stakes never really seemed too high and most of the challenges the characters faced were resolved rather quickly. Knowing that this is adapted from an extremely long anime series, I wasn't worried that any of the main characters was in any real danger. When all is said and done, there was a lot more to like than to criticize. In a year where many shows have grown stale and fallen flat, and a Netflix that is no stranger to bastardizing source material, One Piece was a surprisingly solid entry. Oda's close involvement with the adaptation of his work had a huge role to play and is probably the best lesson for future adaptations with established fan bases. If you are on the lookout for fun entertainment, One Piece is guaranteed to be worth your while. You stay tuned and stay cool.